Hey everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson from ClearPath Robotics and this is the Robot Spotlight, our new series where we show off some of the coolest and unique robots that come through our integration shop. Now in today's video we'll be exploring our outdoor autonomy software package using this Polaris Gem and we'll be doing this by taking this robot through the local Starbucks drive through to get some coffee for the team. Let's get started. So today we're here with one of our systems engineers, Reese, who's going to talk to us a little bit about his most recent integrations project involving Outdoor Now. So we have a local customer that's looking to do autonomous vehicle research, and they wanted something larger than our typical base robots. So we chose a Polaris Gem. It's an electric vehicle that we can control using an off-the-shelf kit, where we convert its CAN bus messages to ROS. And then finally, we've added a computer sensors and outdoor navigation software to help with their research. Sounds great. Could you give us a tour of the sensors on the robot? Sure. So with Outdoor Nav, we have our two GPS sensors up at the top. We also have antennas for Wi-Fi and e-stop. And then towards the front, we have a Velodyne and a Z2i camera. Both of these are waterproof sensors, so we have LiDAR, 3D LiDAR data and then also 3D computer vision for doing uh, recognizing signs or people. Not things that we're supporting in Outdoor Nav currently, but our customer plans to do research with these things. Then towards the back, we have a computer enclosure as well as another 3D LiDAR for when we're having to back the vehicle up autonomously. So inside this electronics enclosure, we have our main computer, which is sending ROS messages to that off-the-shelf kit that I had mentioned. We have the receivers for our GPS modules. This is a PoE injector for our access camera, an e-stop module. There's several controls devices for things like our stack lights or buttons inside the robot, uh, Wi-Fi, audio, and then finally some power distribution and power supplies. Can we see what's inside the cabin? Sure. So it operates like a typical golf cart. It has an accelerator pedal, a brake pedal, and a steering wheel. The main differences with that is we've added a motor to the brake pedal so that we can actuate it with Ross. Similarly, the steering wheel has another electric motor that is connected with ROS. Uh, other devices, we have a touch screen back here that will let us turn on and off power supplies. There's a regular computer monitor connected to the computer at the back, which lets us see the outdoor nav software uh, interface with any other ROS commands, so command line, Firefox, other tools like that, anything that you would have in Ubuntu desktop. Uh, a keyboard, just to interface with that. Uh, other devices, we have an access camera, which will show up in the Outdoor Nav software as a teleoperation uh, window, so you can pilot the vehicle. And finally, there's an e-stop button in the cabin that will disconnect the, the CAN bus to ROS kit so that when you press it, the vehicle will coast to a stop. There's uh, a similar button on every corner of the vehicle. Wow, sounds great. Now, do you think we could use it to complete a coffee run through the Starbucks drive through I think we could. So I'm here in the Starbucks Plaza with our autonomy developer, Jose, who's going to walk us through today's mission. Thanks, Maddie. So today, we'll be sending the Polaris Gem, which is behind me, on an autonomous mission to Starbucks. We'll be using our Outdoor Nav software to do this. Our Outdoor Nav software uses a GPS-based localization solution to navigate through the environment. This uses GPS data, IMU data, and wheel odometry data, and fuses all of these together to get accurate localization. We'll be using our web-based user interface to place waypoints along a planned route and then send the robot along this route. Once we get to our destination, we'll be switching over to Teleop, 
and through the same web-based user interface, we'll be able to tell you the robot through the drive-thru. Sounds great. Let's go get some coffee. Let's go. We'll start by opening up OutdoorNav's web-based user interface. There are a couple of ways to use the user interface to generate your mission. We can place waypoints by simply clicking on locations on the map, or for more accurate path generation, we can manually drive the vehicle and drop waypoints at its current location. As we begin driving the vehicle, we create a new goal by clicking the yellow waypoint button on the bottom bar. Every few meters, we can then click the red waypoint button to extend our current goal with the vehicle's new position. As such, multiple goals can be generated that will navigate the vehicle to the Starbucks drive-thru. We can also use the user interface to view live vehicle data, including velocity, network signal strength, e-stop status, camera feeds, state of charge, and more. Using the built-in teleoperation mode, you can also operate your vehicles remotely using an on-screen or physical joystick. Vehicle operation can be conveniently switched from autonomous mode to teleoperation mode, and vice versa at any time during the mission. Additionally, you're able to build and expand on our autonomous navigation system using an application programming interface. By doing this, you can integrate your own custom ROS-based applications graphical interfaces, or even connect third-party fleet management tools. Hi, can I get a uh, caramel frappuccino and a strawberry and cream. Cre and cream frappuccino, please? So that's it for our video today. Thank you so much, Reese and Jose, for showing us your robot. Now, if you enjoyed our video, feel free to leave a like, and if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments down below. Now, don't forget to subscribe, because there will be more videos like this one coming very soon. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.